Hours after he arrived in Ghana after being deported from the United States, Guyanese police have decided to keep convicted drug lord Shahid Roger Khan in custody as they investigate the September 2005 murder of well-known boxing coach Donald Allison and the January 2006 murder of political activist Ronald Waddell. Waddell was executed outside his Sobranville, Georgetown residence on January 30, 2006, while Allison was gunned down outside the Ricola Boxing Gym in Agricola on the east bank of Demerara on September 8, 2005. Khan was whisked away to the CID headquarters at midnight Friday where his photographs and fingerprints were taken after arriving at the Chedijagan International Airport on the American Airlines flight. Khan's attorney, Glenn Hanneman, spoke with reporters. Um, I was informed that allegations were put to him in my absence. Those allegations related to the murder of Donald Allison and Waddle, and that he will be kept in custody pending investigation. So there has no, been no decision to charge, that's my understanding, but they, they are investigating those specific matters. Hanuman told the media outside the Criminal Investigations Department Saturday morning that he was informed by senior detectives and officials at the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions that the police have no evidence upon which they can charge Khan for these murders. Police have to do their work and they have a right to investigate whatever evidence they have. They have to follow up everything. I am aware, however, that um, there is no evidence in relation to either of those two matters. And I'm also aware that the legal advice was given to the police that there was no evidence upon which any charge could be, um, could be laid. So the only logical thing is, is that they hope to get some sort of evidence from him, um, which I, I, don't, I doubt it. The attorney was doubtful that Khan would have been kept in custody for 72 hours. I think police misunderstand that law. The law is not permissive, it is prohibitive. The Constitution says that you cannot keep someone beyond 72 hours without charging them. It doesn't permit the police to keep him for 72 hours if they have no reasonable suspicion. And from, from all of my investigations, there is absolutely no evidence. Against him for either of those two. On June 15, 2006, Khan was arrested in Suriname, Paramaribo, with three of his bodyguards in a sting operation that Surinamese police said netted more than 200 kilograms of cocaine, the biggest cocaine haul in Suriname of that year. Instead of being deported to Guyana, Khan was flown to Trinidad where he was handed over to the U.S. authorities. In October 2009, Khan was sentenced in a courtroom in Brooklyn, New York, to 40 years imprisonment for trafficking large amounts of cocaine to the United States of America, witness tampering and illegal firearm possession. His sentences ran concurrently, which meant that he was only expected to serve 15 years, but he spent less than 10 years behind bars and was ordered deported. Bibi Katun, reporting for the newsroom.